Smaller, shorter cats, much faster, and carry with the wind. With the brothers who are big, it takes a lot. Hard on the joints, it too, is. guys. It's very, you know, it's very hard you on the joints. You imagine a pound. You imagine, people don't realize the amount of pressure generated on an ankle or a knee joint right. when people are running or jumping up and down. It can be some incredible tension on those joints. Yeah, yeah. And I can imagine, you know, how often do we follow up with athletes who are seven foot, 250 pounds plus, and then they're 60, 65, how they're walking, how they carry themselves. That's, That's a big why I issue. like Shaq. Well, That's well, why I give Shaq a break. Here's the thing. Shaq has to, we use Muhammad Ali, who heavyweights at his time weighed the same. 195, 210, 220, 230. You're going to be as good as what you train for. The deal is most people that size are more lazier. Thank you. That's the than, truth. Than, That's a, it. than a smaller guy. But Ali proves that if you will work out according to what you want to do, then you can do it. Because you know Ali dance. He said, we're going to dance right. all <laughs> night <laughs> long. I'm going to wear you That's down. Right. <laughs> and that, then they were doing 15 rounds. And Ali was from 212 yeah. to 218. Yeah. But he trained like that so that he could carry his body. Shaq could do it if he would train. So it's not difficult. You have to do the training in order to do it. If you don't, you got to, yeah, he got a big 350-pound clock. <laughs> yeah. if, he's, if he's not training for it. But if he does, right. then the rest of the players got a big 350-pound problem because he's you. in condition. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Again, yeah. it goes back to conditioning. Yeah, yeah. Conditioning is it. You know, boxers get knocked out because they're not in shape. Rarely you get a first round situation where that's why you're so shocked when I got a guy get knocked out in the first round because you're not expecting it. Right. But the game don't start till you get past round four, round yeah, five. Yeah, you know? yeah. Man, and you end up, I remember one time, Mario, I went to do a, just the first exercise and, you know, boxing, had the gloves on. I remember standing up and the guy in front of me, my friend, and then I remember getting off off the ground. That's all I remember. That was it. <laughs> Done. Yeah, it was, no, <laughs> dude, no. when you're talking about, you know, you realize at that moment what game you're not meant for. Right. And, and I've said this all, all along. I said, when you can stand up and take hits and can still stand up and give them back, you gangster. I'm sorry. <laughs> Much respect in that world, dude. The idea that you can sit there and go like this, hit me. And then you get hit and I say, I'm keep coming. I'm going... Okay, so the football players supposed to be the best athletes, really? Basketball players supposed to be the best athletes? Get in the ring with a boxer. Well, you know, yeah. they see yeah. boxers until they come out doing all that. They just whip their own ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they beat their own ass <laughs> before they even hit you. I watch them. I'm like, damn, you. Hey. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> no, the deal is, this is the deal. <laughs> we only get hit if we can't avoid it. Right. Remember... The idea of the sweet science, as uh, they called it, is to hit and don't get hit. Right. right? See, now you got Jack a pro. Johnson. See, here you go. Now you got a pro. Now, that, that's what's up. Now, if you get hit, then you have to be and you want to be in condition to withstand it. That's but you have some boxers of other cultures who live for the punch hitting them. The most intelligent of the fighters... Muhammad Ali, oh mm -hmm. yeah, Ray Leonard, Leonard yeah, you know it, <laughs> Mayweather. The idea is to hit and don't get hit. You know, you want to yeah, avoid a concussion. Yeah, avoid a concussion. Avoid a concussion. At any price. But some men think proving their manhood is proving how much they could take hit me, then I hit you. Our body's not meant for that. It sure you know? isn't. It's it's a it's a challenging sport. And when Jack Johnson, I have to mention the great Jack Johnson, oh, the first black heavyweight champion. That's right. Uh, who is known, right. unfortunately, just for his boxing. But what he was really fighting for was his manhood. As Jack Johnson said, whatever you all write about me, let it be the final words, I was a man. And that's what he was fighting for was his manhood. Great He's story. known as a, as a great boxer, but he was an inventor. He was a businessman. Yep. He was the first person who had an integrated club yeah. so he wasn't racist right you know and that's one of the things i oh I hell like no he was he had to deal with so much racism oh, as in the whole oh. world you know so hard for the brothers back then had to very go hard. overseas very hard to get a little peace of mind and then absolutely. have to come back to america and get treated like dirt absolutely yeah. and on that what made me say that was because uh uh jack jack johnson the heavyweight champion back then was was parallel to the president 
Sure was. Whoever's heavyweight champion because years ago your manhood was defined by your ability and your and your ability to beat another man in that way and not so much with the brain. So uh, but Jack Jack removed that and showed as as a fighter he was smart and he used his brain and so did Ali. He used his brain. Yep. So you don't have to end Ali's fight. He was combing his hair. That's <laughs> right. Pretty talking about I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Remember that? I'm pretty. Hey, brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? You know, and it, it was another Perfect. story. But speaking yeah. of athletes, like you said, who really train, I thought of one, I guess, that we've been hearing. Ray Lewis for longevity, work ethic. People say year-round that that's a brother who keeps himself that's the only way he could keep going. Yeah. They keep like that. Yeah, you that's hear the about the way. ones, cause, yeah. and you look at him, because the NFL, you know, you have cats. You can see him obviously overweight, some of them. Yeah. You know, even Hainsworth, right. who, who's, who's all pro everything, right. you know, obviously overweight. Obviously, when you look at him, you can tell yeah. he's overweight. Yeah. Then you got people like Ray, right. who's, who's known for work ethic training year-round. Right. You show me he, the best players in anything. And I'll show you the person who has a strong work ethic. Because it goes right back to being focused. And, and you know, and seriously, life is so serious. If you don't do it now, then you're going to pay for a letter. Yeah. But right. you're going to pay the piper. Yeah. So if you stay on it, then you, getting in and out of shape is rough. Yeah. So why not just stay on it? It's not like you have to do so much, but you have to maintain. You see, people see me and they say, well, Hawks, do you work you two hours a day? No, I do enough. I do about an hour. Some days I do 30 minutes. Yeah. Sometimes I don't have but 15 minutes. Is and more. then I'm going to do my abs. There you go. I'm not worried about my chest. I'm worried about my arms. I'm going to do my abs because they say your stomach is the window of your health. Yeah. See what I mean? They say if everybody had a body part they could have, what would it be? And they say it would be the six pack. Everybody wants a six pack. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. And I you mean, know what? I myself or just to touch a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And let me give you some respect where respect is due. Everybody knows right now that soccer is considered the global sport, right? Yes. Look how they look but, like they're in shape. You no, know, but they're here. Well, check this out, Mario. The global sport that was in place of soccer back in the day of Jack Johnson was boxing. Oh, yeah. It represented a Gladiator, whole culture. Right. Yeah. It's the only sport that lost its glamour as it relates to the globalization, how countries represented and stand, stood behind a sport. I don't know how it got lost. Well, crime because yeah, betting it, and crime and all those things started to influence. It was the, yeah. it was the business aspects that got into boxing. Right, right. You know, it, it, we've had a number of sports go that way. Boxing started right. off that way because it represented a culture, a, a, money, a, and a lot. Money. Betting, money went money betting track and field. Jesse Owens represented the movement in a not, number of fronts. Unfortunately, the the front that didn't give him the love he really wanted to was back here at home. So we have a lot of history. So when he says Jack Johnson. I sit there and go like when you go see the story over and over again. Hey, good. That's a it's story a, for that's a story for everybody. To he go was, look at. you know yeah. what? I keep saying to be in the in that place where he was. I'm going to deal with the white women. <laughs> I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. I'm gonna whoop ass, and I'm gonna be a physical specimen, and I'm gonna hit you in a way you guys have never been hit by an athlete such as myself yeah. under those times and have laws changed to reflect him changing the landscape of what the Caucasian movement was. We are the dominant ones. And I, hey, look, I may not have everything correct, but I can tell you this much. When you go look at the story, they actually changed the rules so they That's can right. make him lose. They That's did. Right. It's unbelievable. The, the story is Unforgivable Blackness, yeah. which you can find on YouTube. And it talks about Jack Johnson's life and his story and his struggles and, and what he went through and his refusal to be not recognized and respected as a man. And it had everything to do with... Um, with where we are today. Right. You know, um, the, the one of the things I love about California is the diversity.